Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. This has the feeling of a bribe, Ulfgar. Are you trying to win my favor for some reason? Bribe you? Heavens no. This is a simple gift of thanks. For solving the mystery of Hunbiort's disappearance. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremoots. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is old but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herafriv and Bunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified, not of being raided. But of... Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes. And how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry.
But this is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Wolves everywhere. And not a bear in sight. like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! People are fleeing! They must get to safety! Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. This what? area is off limits. Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> The bear is returned! The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. You are rousing, Hunt! Brilliant! Simply brilliant!
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. With thanks, Aqua, for me, on for... How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Dringer. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. How oh, fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. 
I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I choose Alfgar. He is sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new Elderman is Lord Alvgar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your Elderman, I will work to better this Shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our King. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Teowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself! Troubles begin early, Alfgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tusser can't have gone far. Race a feared and march against what men he has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I 
am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Herefriz, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer. Oh, Shire. What remains? My heaven waits. 